Hi there, Liam here, and today I'm doing a playthrough of my level for 2D games design. And the first thing I have to say about my level is I have a problem with rebuilding my lighting. I will show you now. And the problem I'm having is spawn is failed to kick off. Um, I don't know how to fix it, but let's get into actually playing my level. So you start off in this open area with uh, you're on dirt because you're outside and I wanted it to be as you're a deliverer trying to deliver some crates of something to this broken down castle um, and you've crashed and your only way now is to go through the broken way castle to hopefully get to the other side of it so let's go inside with E on the door the door opens let's go inside and our first pickups are armor pickups and the first trap we have is a squisher now at first these didn't instantly kill you after people played my level and tested it for me they were able to get stuck between two of the hammers so I made them an instant kill when you get hit by it as you can just see I'm going to show you that again with me actually being under them there we go so let's move on for it let's move on in my level And we come to the next part where which was another part struggling there's a mover and this mover originally wasn't set to be triggered off and people were able to completely miss this trick the floor trigger and carry on with the level I didn't want this so what I did was set it up to work with the arrow trap that it was originally working for the trigger was and the and the mover Ouch. Tried to move a little bit too quickly there throughout the level. Nearly got squashed there as well. So, if I remember, I have to wait for this one. Yeah, have to wait for it. There we go. Alright, let's get back to where we were. God damn it. There we go. And let's wait for that to go up and let's go. There we go. So we get to the next checkpoint. I mean I don't have to the player doesn't have to start all the way back at the beginning again. Now we come to the upper outside of the level and I have made it pretty easy to come to here with just moving platforms. And then we come to the jump pads, which I want to implement in a way where they'd be actually used for a reason. Um, I have used them here to move the player from A to B quickly. Now this will follow me so I'm just gonna quickly do and it follows to here. So if you're not quick enough you will die to it. The reason I'm gonna die now is so I can show you part of the level which is where that skeleton is and to show you then and then we're going to go on to the next part of the level I'm just going to kill myself quickly let's get back up there there we go and hopefully this time I can miss the trigger for showing purposes there we go so as you can see there's a skeleton there. I, in my mind, that's probably someone that used to live here, who's been. They've tied themselves up to, um, or someone's came in and tied up the skeleton, to like try and scare people. 
There's also some bones in the background from other skeletons. So yeah, let's move on. This is a drop down. So we're going to drop down into here to, yep, the never checkpoint. I've placed them myself, I would say, in the right places for my level. At first, this um, the trap here was a arrow trap while you were dropping down into here. Um, I didn't like that idea after playing the level myself for a little bit. And I've just changed it out to, which I actually have preferred, a fire ball explosion uh, cannon. I prefer this. Also makes it a little bit. You like you have to time it now, which is nice. And then we get to here. There we go. And we're back up near the top bit of level. Now this is this is what I have called leap of faith. Leap of faith. Uh, originally, no traps here. As you can see, there is now. But originally, there was no traps. And people that were testing my level for me the criticism I got back from a lot of them is why haven't you added traps to the part where you massively drop down in your level um, it, it gave no danger to the player they just dropped and there was no worry of maybe getting damaged or anything like that so I took on their idea and messed around with a few ideas and I came to using what I've used um, in parts of my level before these spinning spinning blades I like the idea of them, I like the way they look and I've got four on this part of the level and they are going in separate directions So you are pretty much guaranteed to be hit by one, as you can see. So we came to the next checkpoint. It's down here. So if you die, you haven't got to go down in that drop again. As you can see, I just did. You haven't got to do all that leaf of faith again. I mean, come on. You really only want to do that once. So... Then we come to what I would call is the outdoor forge area where a blacksmith would work I would say and this is some of the stuff the blacksmith has done he's carved out of these out of this mountain these statues which actually look really cool to be honest so let's move on on the level And let's go here. Let's go under this before it hits. Nice, got there. Uh, oh, let's jump to the next one. Oh, there we go. And now this switch should, if I'm right, open the door to here. Yes, it does. So we've just past that and when I got to here and I had the hammers in and I was like I don't like the way they're looking they're just placed there they're not doing anything so I wanted to make them look like they are they've smashed through the wall well part of the wall and they're damaging the floor I think my implementation my implementing of that was quite good actually and the outcome of it I actually like so now we've came to what I would call the end of the level. Just the last trap there, you know. Open the door, they run out, get hit by it. Puts them off guard. So also known, I would know, I've called this place the green array. It's a lot of green. And this is the end of the level where you have now became... Some of the you have now became some a person who's probably been 
He's probably used the blacksmith, the forge down there, and made and made himself a weapon, some armor, to go out his way. So yeah, I hope you like my level. This has been Leon. Bye guys.